Okay, so today we are going to look at Dat Linux. That's right, Dat Linux. And what is Dat Linux, you may ask? Well, it is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. I know, like so many others, but hear me out. This one is different because it is specifically for data scientists, right? Uh, which definitely makes it a little different. So let's first fix our resolution, install this OS, and then take a look and see what it's got included. And you can see it has the LXQT uh, interface uh, by default, nice and lightweight. So let's uh, install that. And they make use of the Calamari's installer. Swap to file is okay. Gosh, that Linux. Okay, and next, next, install. And you guessed it. I'll be back once it's installed. Okay, all done. Let's restart. Okay, so let's log in. Okay, so there are updates available. First thing, of course, we fix resolution again. Okay, so once this to apply patches and updates, so let's do that. Okay, now that that's done, upgrade can be required. So I guess we're gonna reboot. Everything should uh, hopefully work more out the box now. Uh, let's just clear that. Okay, and of course you can see we're using just almost 800 megs of memory, not much. Uh, and uh, it looks for CPU usage, and of course we're using the new kernel 6.2. And of course this is based on Ubuntu. And of course here, uh, nice thing is I first give you a FAQ about what that Linux is. And they even tells you it's basically Slubuntu 2204 with additional uh, applications on top of it. So if you are a student or professional academic in data science, and you want to just out the box and you don't want to spend ages configuring it, this is the distribution for you. What's also nice here is they've also included a PDF about what uh, the list of data science applications they have here are. Really, really neat little uh, simple thing that, but really awesome. Out the box, of course, you can see we've got a, a LibreWolf browser, and LibreWolf is a version of the Firefox browser, but uh, with a couple of additional telemetry and removed from it. It's basically a hardened version of Firefox. And of course, accessories, uh, internet, right, so graphics, a couple of these I imagine are going to be a bit of an overlap here. So I want to start off with that Linux control panel and click on this. Okay, and of course here you can see here, and I've broken it down to the science apps, extras, admin, help, all of this. So we just want to get started. Uh, so we're not going to look at all of these. That would just take too long and uh, bore folks, I'm sure. But let's take a look at, for example, Jupyter Notebooks, right? So I'm going to say yes. Setting up its virtual Jupyter environment, downloading the required files that it needs. So good to know uh, you can't just kind of install this on a machine and assume that all the files are there. You would have to make sure the workstations uh, have internet access so you can set the stuff up. Okay, and of course, what an easy way to use uh, Jupyter Notebooks. If only it was always so easy. So I'm going to say new notebook. Right, for Python 3. Um, we also have 4R as well. So I'm going to choose Python 3. Uh, they also have IPython as well. I do yes. Now if I go back to one of the others, since it's been pre-set up, it's already downloaded everything. You don't have to reconfigure it or reset it up again, which is thankful. Um, so go to IPython console and IPython. So I'm going to choose the first option. 
and then we have Chivam, which is basically them, but with a bit of a GUI interface uh, to it as well. Make it a tad uh, easier um, for some. Uh, Jupyter Labs, Lab Plots, LibreOffice Calc, right, if you need that. Uh, Metabase. So basically, this is when you need to do stuff like statistics or business intelligence. Uh, Metabase is an application you would use for that. And here you've got Metabase. And how awesome. Quick way to do it. Right, really, Metabase. Great way of visualizing your, your data. And of course, <laughs> easy to get started on multiple platforms. Never seen it as easy as I'm here, though. Right, uh, let's do DB Browser then, and you can also use this to uh, for browsing SQLite databases as well. Like just so many um, applications here, it's just mind blowing. We need machine learning and algorithms. You can just use Weka or Weka, which is busy downloading there. Uh, busy data, so if you want to make Tabular data, even more interactive uh, via Codium. But if we can do both at the same time, looks like I can. The text editor and IDE application, of course. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Out the box. Okay, has a package manager that you may learn. Okay. I see, I would have. Absolutely no clue how to use this, <laughs> but I'm sure there's many folks out there that know. I mean, even uh, clips based uh, GUI for Git, Emacs, and ESS. So that this would be Emacs with uh, ESS, I think it's packages for data visualization or science. Um, feel free to uh, leave in the comments exactly what it is if I'm wrong. Okay, close the window and launch it again. And Emacs. Good old Emacs. Cool. So this is just some of these type of applications they have. And as you can see, pretty easy to use. Uh, the extras, of course, uh, MOA extras, so Please install more apps first. All right. Oh, this. Okay. Open source for, for data streaming. So extras for that. Uh, data science ebooks. Right. Link link to these. And bam, here you go. Hands on with uh. What are these? Um, different links to different lists, etc. So. Just open that up with LibreWolf. Um, and you know, all of these uh, books and information that is available. So, pretty cool that. Uh, admin, you can do an apps updater, which I would assume is what it ran automatically after we'd installed it for the first time. Uh, apps uninstaller. So, in case you installed stuff and you think this is too bloated, you want to remove it, you can just remove it there. Um, he was talking about uh, the additional extensions and plugins for VS Codium, that Linux support. Uh, so take us straight to their website, their GitHub community, and you can even get your own customized that Linux distribution for your school, college, or university for a one-time uh, payment and it'll be pre-branded for you, that's if this was on their website. I have an affiliation to this distro, so I'm just reading what it says there. Just close that and about. Yeah, just talking about the control panel there. Okay, so that's mainly those applications. The rest is you see here. Uh, a lot of them is just links to those apps that were listed there. Um, you know, maybe VLC's extra pulse audio, 
uh, some package managers, uh, you know, more on package managers and some additional applications on the system. Um, and then, you know, pretty much the normal uh, Lubuntu set up with all of these type of apps on top of it. So nothing more really to go through or show you. Um, folks, do you use this? Um, have you used it? Do you plan to use it? Do you know anyone who uses it? I think this is a great uh, show of really the advantages and power of Linux. You know, when it's used in these customized situations, it's education, betterment of mankind, I think it's really, really awesome um, that these exist. And, you know, you don't have licenses. Install it, share it, and it works. And you don't have to worry about uh, someone coming after you for license fees. Folks, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.